everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install Fedora 27. So to start off, you're going to need to follow the URL in the description that goes to the article that we'll talk about that we'll talk about how to make the live disk. From there, once you start up, you can click Try Fedora if you want to just test out the operating system, or you can click the Install button and start the install process. So once you click install the install to hard drive, the install to hard drive app will st start up. Go through and select your language, and then click the continue button. So from here, it will automatically detect a few things. It'll detect your network if you have a wired connection. It'll detect your time zone, and your language, keyboard localization. All you need to do right now is click on system and set up your hard drive. So if you only got one hard drive, it'll automatically select it. If you got many, you just need to select one and have it at the red and have it at the black check mark. Once you're done, make sure that you check automatic. You can also do custom or advanced custom if you want to do different partitioning, but we suggest you set automatic. And you can select encrypt your data if you also want it to be encrypted. Once you do that, just click the done button and it'll take a bit but it'll go to the done area it'll save the it'll save the installation destination and then you can click the begin installation button from here you need to set a root password and uh, your root password could be anything really from there you click user creation and you enter your full name. It'll generate a username. Make sure you click the administrator button and then just enter your password. Click the done button. And from here, Fedora is just gonna go through and it's gonna install to the system. Once it's done, you'll see a notification that says everything is complete. So when Fedora finishes installing, you can just click the quit button and that will exit the installer. And then from there, you just need to click the power button and then click restart on the live disk. Now what this will do is it will reboot right into your installation. I'm running this in a virtual machine so I could record it, but the boot device, you know, it'll still show up. What you need to do is you need to eject it from your, from your computer. And I'm going to do that by going to optical disks and clicking remove and then I will go reset so once you restart Fedora it'll boot in to the bootloader like normal and you can use the operating system as if it were any other operating system, you've got it installed and Fedora 27 is ready to go. Please check the installation instructions that I have written up in the description so you can understand a little bit about how to get it going after the fact, talking about non-free software and all of that good stuff. So guys, this has been Derek. I'll see you next time.